All right, we're making a half a package of cake mix today since we don't have very many mixes on hand. And we're going to make just a few cupcakes so we have just a little something in the house. Is your hand getting tired? Yeah, just a little bit. And check the timer here. All right, the timer's about ready to go off and then we can start getting them in the pan. All right, let's see how many we can get out of here. Let's see, I think you could probably get, get a couple more in there. Yep, I think we can too. Should probably try three more maybe? Oops. Should we start with two and then see if we get a three out of it? Sure. Yeah, I think you get a third. I think we might too, baby. I've got the chocolate chips. I'll lay them on top. All right. That little thing made nine of them. Dude, I think we could get one more. Wanna three, go? six, nine. That makes it three apiece. Do you want to go for a tenth just for fun? Uh -huh. Let's do one more. We got cupcakes. We use vanilla frosting instead of a cream cheese frosting. That's the way we happen to really like them and so that's what we've got today. We've got red velvet chocolate chip cupcakes with vanilla frosting. And I just thought I'd let you know since we just used the half a package of the cake mix, the original cake mix calls for three eggs and I didn't want to crack open a half an egg. So we just did one egg. We did half the package, half the oil, half the water and used one egg and they turned out beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. We've all had one, and this is what we've got left. So, anyway, I just thought I'd share. I don't have a lot of freezer room, so we're just making small quantities and popping them in the fridge for our
This is a giant lots of stuff I have. Aren't these fun? I love the googly eyed birds. Oh, let's see what we got in here. I don't know what I want to put on the bad inchy. Well, that's kind of fun. Maybe, hmm, pull that out. Cuteness. Look at the cuteness. Cute little turtley stuff. Ooh. Favorite Halloween stuff. Doesn't matter if it's not Halloween. I can still do Halloween if I want to. Oh, these are kind of pretty. Kind of cool. I don't know. Again, do a pile of stuff. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember Rusty Pickle? Are they even still around? So much. Ooh, these are fun. <sighs> Toxic danger. Yeah, these are dangerous ones. I wish they were smaller. Oh, I can't remember I have those. All right. Pull the pile of stuff out here. these little black and white images right here. I wonder if those are too big. Look at that. The fern. Find a piper. These could be fun on some other things that will actually fit on. Oh, I love that image. This makes me think of, is it Cousin It? <laughs> on the Adams Family with the big long hair. <laughs> These are pretty. What else do we got here? The tree is nice. Oh, there's the tree with the a swing, a tire swing. Rub-ons. That's pretty with the black and white. No. Oh no. I still want to go back to those. These. I'm digging these. This 
love these little diagrammy things. Oh yeah, it'll overlap it just a bit and that's okay because it's just going in the book. Oh, that's awesome. So I'll have to figure out what stickles to put on there. But in the meantime, I got some navy blue ink that we shall play with. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, well, looks neat. Oh, yeah. All right. Tonight, we are having a small pan of manicotti. I was very excited to finally get meat today. We're not having that for dinner tonight. We're saving that for another day, but pasta tonight. And we've got hamburger now, at least, for a different night. What are you guys having tonight for dinner? So I've been playing in the giant art journal and baby girl. I added uh, some more of baby girl to it. Which I just love how it turned out. It's so fun to flip the pages and see more of her. I know I already showed you when I did my original flip of the page that I did of her uh, last year in here. But um, I wanted to do some more pages of her in the book. So, I want to show you what I did. I really like how they turned out. They feel really special. On this side over here, um, I made this envelope. And then I put inside the rest of the pictures that I want to scrapbook. The rest of those are, are all in here. Just added a wee bit of delicate lace to the side right here. And then on this side of the page, I added all of these pair cutouts that I had. Look at that precious little face. Oh my gosh. Oh. I miss that little face so much. Oh, I just miss it so much. Oh. And then I did um, this one on this side. You guys saw uh, this page when it was just, I think, part partially done. And so I went ahead and added my little baby girl to the page. I added some more of that little delicate lace on the bottom. And I ended up making it like a little flip so that I can journal and maybe add a little something else right there to the page. And then we've got this one right here. Let me see if I can get in closer here so you can see. I added her next to all the inches we put in here. And I've got more inches to show you. But that was such a good representation of that sweet little face and the that loving way that she would always look at us. But I clustered on some of my favorite images. This reminds me of a cabinet that um, I regret having to part with when we 
downsized, unfortunately. More of my from my gorgeous lighting collection. I, I love how that page looks. It's so fun turning the page and seeing that little face. <laughs> 